Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of All Things Considered. And today's topic... Some people are just stupid. So, we all know Shakari Richardson, uh, one of the top female athletes in the country and in, in, in the world, and potentially the fastest woman in the world, recently failed a drug test for marijuana and... She has, you know, lost her opportunity to compete in this year's Olympics. She was potentially the favorite for the gold medal in the 100 meters. And as of yesterday, we come to find out that she will not only miss the 100 meters individual event, but also the 4x100 meter event. So, here is my issue with this whole thing. People are really going to make this more than what it is. My biggest problem with some of the arguments I've seen is people making it a racial issue. Guys, this is not a racist issue. There are more black athletes competing in the Olympics for the United States than white ones. And if there isn't, it's probably pretty damn close. And... All athletes, white, black, green, yellow, it does not matter, get tested. Why? Because they are trying to com- to make the fairest playing field as possible. Unless it comes to men competing against women, then the Olympics doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> but other than that, they're trying to make it as fair as possible. So... Everyone gets tested. And on a list of what they test for, marijuana is one of them. And these athletes know that. But to say that, you know, whether it's the United States trying to keep her out of the Olympics because she's black and because she has an attitude or, you know, she's very, uh, what's the word, I think flamboyant, or that may not be the right word, but she's... uh, you know, she, she's a personality, and not in a bad way. You know, I, I, so, I, so I'm, I don't think she's a, a bad personality. I think she's just her own person. And, um, you know, I think it, it's, in the long run, going to work out for her. But it has nothing to do with her appearance or her skin color, okay? If you think that the way she acts, the way she does her hair, and the way she does her nails is why that, you know people are going to discriminate against her and keep her out of the Olympics. If you think that supersedes the fact that the United States wants to win their first gold medal in the 100 meters in I don't know how long, you're freaking crazy. Alright? Because like I don't care who it is the United States would rather win a gold medal than discriminate against an athlete because of their skin color or any kind of preferences they have. The same goes for the Olympics, okay? The Olympics has people from all around the world competing from all cultures and all skin colors, and they do not care that Shakari Richardson is black. They do not care what her religion is. They do not care what her sexual preferences they hell they don't even care what her gender is now so that's the stupidest argument the next stupid argument i've heard is that you know oh well it was it's legal in oregon she did something that was legal she didn't break the law guys that does not freaking matter all right What is legal to regular people has nothing to do with sports and competition. And the people making that argument, honestly, are people that have never competed in sports at a high enough level to to have the experience of, you know, uh, being drug tested and knowing what what these committees and, and organizations are testing for. The NCAA, so I played... Division one football, 
So my experience goes as far as is that, but the NCAA used to have their drug test. Not the ones that each school would have when they test their athletes, but the NCAA would come and choose random people on the team from all sports, and they would test them. And if you failed that test for a performance-enhancing drug, and I believe for marijuana too, it was a one-year suspension. All right? The stuff they tested for, a lot of it was the same things that you would go to GNC and an average person would go to GNC for and buy off the shelf. So we would get told by our trainers, look, guys, if you're going to take a supplement, make sure you clear it with your, with, uh, you know, it'd be the uh, athletic trainer. You know, make sure it's approved by the NCAA. You know, uh, substances like creatine or, uh, you know, a lot of those supplements that ordinary people go by and, and use to work out to try and enhance their workouts. Uh, pre-workout is the, the big one, right? going and using any kind of pre-workout, something that everyone seems to want to use when they go work out. If you were taking that regularly and you failed that NCAA drug test, NCAA drug test, it was a one-year suspension. And you hear about it all the time. You know, the quarterback from Florida a couple years ago um, happened to him in the middle of the season, right? And a, a lot of these people will criticize these athletes for failing a drug test for performance-enhancing drug, not realizing that the that the critics themselves are probably taking the same thing when they go to work out. But because it's legal, right? Yeah, no, that's it, that's a stupid argument. Because just because it's legal with someone does not mean that that sport or that organization overseeing the sport is going to allow you to do it. And the other part to that, it was legal in Oregon. So yes, Shakari Richardson did not break it, the law by consuming marijuana but the Olympics doesn't revolve around the United States lest we forget there are what 250 other countries in the whole world all that are able if they qualify to go and compete in the Olympics so and a lot of them have made it sorry illegal to consume marijuana and you can't say that oh, well, we're going to take it off the banned substance list because it's legal in Oregon of the United States of America. Because lest we also forget that marijuana is still illegal in the eyes of the United States government. So just because it's legalized in... Uh, Sorry, it's illegal in the United States government. But just because it's legalized in one little area of the United States does not mean they should take it off the banned substance list. If you start doing that and going down that road, then that then you have to say, well, you know, Russia allows... It's legal to take steroids in Russia, so we have to let them take steroids. So we just got to take it off the banned substance list. No. And it's in steroids. There's a lot of steroids that are actually legal, I believe, in some countries to take. So, but you can't take that off the banned substance list just because it's legal in one country, okay? And then, kind of building on the idea of, of these banned substances, the next argument was, well, weed isn't even a performance enhancer. In fact, it would hinder her performance. Okay, guys. A performance enhancing drug does one of two things at least. It either adds a positive or it takes away a negative. All right? So you can look at it this way. It can either build muscle, build build strength, speed, you know, focus, whatever, or it can take away anxiety. Which in Shakari Richardson's case, that that's why she was using it. She wasn't using it with the idea that it was going to enhance any kind of performance or take away anxiety, but she was doing it to cope with, you know, uh, something tragic that just happened in her life recently. And I'm not faulting her for that. I'm not saying here that, you know, oh, she should never have done that. Or, you know, I'm not here to tell her how to cope with, you know, the passing of her, her mother. I'm not in the right to do that, but... All I'm saying is that 
uh, you know, taking away anxiety in track and field, especially, would help her. It would help enhance performance, not physically, but mentally. And mentally is a big part of it. All right. So just because, yeah, it may not make her faster or stronger or whatever, it will make her less anxious. All right. So you got to remember that. There, uh, PED will add a positive or take away a negative. So the next thing I want to say about all this is part of being a profession, an athlete in general, but also a professional athlete, is not just being extremely successful on the field but also being successful off the field. And being successful off the field is uh, a few different things, you know, working hard, working out. And, and if usually if you're a professional athlete, you're taking care of that part. The extremely hardworking and dedicated people. And, you know, I mean, it is their job and their career. But it also means, you know, making the right decisions. Unfortunately, Shakira Richardson has to go through the passing of her mother, and the way she found out was just crazy. But still saying, you know, okay, how do I cope with this? And, and saying, well, I'm going to either go smoke marijuana to help cope, or I'm going to do it in some other way that I know is at least legal. You know, she even came out and 100% percent respect her for this and she took full responsibility and account and accountability for her actions okay but she knew it was wrong and that's the difference between her and someone else in that race because we know about her issue because she failed this drug test but also because she's the high profile athlete that was winning and the media wants to talk to her the media wants to find out everything they can about her right but just as easily as she was dealing with a tragedy, someone else in that race was could have been dealing with a tragedy of their own just as bad or worse. We don't know what everyone's situation is. And that athlete, that other athlete chose to deal with it in a way that was legal. You know, they chose to handle it differently and now they are able to go and actually compete. So while Shakari Richardson is, has been very successful in track and field, now, you know, an athlete that, that made a better decision than she did and is now going to compete in the Olympics, now that person is a more, will be a more successful Olympian than Shakari Richardson as of now. So, you know, you need to put it in that kind of perspective. It's not a, just about winning races on the field. It's about, or on the track, it's about winning them off the track as well and making the right decisions. And at first, you know, I was like, damn, you know, I can't believe that she just threw it all the way. And, you know, that's tough that they're going to hammer her for something as little as marijuana. But when I sat and thought about it, you know, that's a part of being an athlete and a professional athlete is that where, you know, that is what you do. And, uh, you know, that unfortunately was a decision that she made that will come and affect her. Now, she's only 21 years old, okay? She has, she has to wait four more years, but, or I think three more years now, but, you know, she'll be getting better. Hopefully she learns from this. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hope she does. I hope she ends up breaking all kinds of records and winning a gold medal for us and sometime in the future. But let's not make this more than what it is. Let's not be freaking stupid, people. Because it's not a racial issue, okay? It's not a legal issue. It's not a performance-enhancing issue. The issue is that she screwed up and she made the wrong decision and now, unfortunately, she has to pay for it. So that's kind of my thought and opinion on that. Uh, remember to like and subscribe the video and leave a comment if you have any or questions or insults. 
criticizing me for whatever, that's fine too. Thank you.